let's learn about some basics of prolog programming so in prolog programming we have a knowledge base and knowledge base is just a set of information that you are given with that you are provided with so a good example can be human brain so human brain is a knowledge base that has all the knowledge or information that it has acquired so far so you have all the knowledge and information that you have acquired so far and you use that knowledge that information to make different 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 decisions in your life so a knowledge base in prolog programming further comprises of two things fact and rules so facts are different statements that are true and rules are different statement that are based on facts so for example uh, a fact can be so a fact can be apple is a fruit and another fact can be orange is a fruit the example of rules can be anything x is eatable if it is a fruit so these two are facts and this is a rule that anything is eatable if it is a fruit now based on these facts and rules we make different queries from this knowledge base so for example uh, we can ask this knowledge base we can make a query that orange is eatable or not and we have a fact for orange and we have a rule and so since the rule says that anything x is eatable if it is a fruit so we will see whether orange is a fruit or not we will see what is the output true or false so if orange is a fruit that means it is eatable right so this is just a gist of it let's see it in more detail and let's see the syntax and how will we implement it how will we write a prolog program now let's come towards the syntax of prolog program okay so this is the syntax of some very basic words in prolog and you should always remember it if you're writing programs in prolog so for if we use the symbol colon and hyphen for and we use comma for or we use the semicolon and for not we use the keyword not right now let's begin by learning about variables so in prolog variables always start with capital letters or an underscore so a variable can be a single letter but it will always start with a capital letter or an underscore so in case it is a single letter it will be a capital letter I have included this table on every slide so that if you see it again and again you maybe you will memorize it quickly now let's learn about some facts and rules so uh, previously we just learned about uh, the uh, knowledge base and we learned that the knowledge base comprises of facts and rules so let's take uh, the example of facts first so this is a fact and this is how I will write I will actually write a fact in prologue this is the syntax how I will write a fact in prolog. So I'm going to write the relation or the uh, quality here and I will write the name in brackets here. So this particular line means Johnny is fat and dog is brown. Julian is friends with Bob. This is how you read it. And you always put a full stop at the end of every statement in prolog. Now let's see an example for rules. So, okay, here, these are my facts and this is my rule. So this is not a rule, this is a, these three are facts and this is a rule. Now let's look at our facts. So the fact states that this person likes this person. So what I mean by that is Dan likes Sally, Sally likes Dan, Josh likes Brittany. So these are our three rules. Now let's see, oh, sorry, these are our three facts. Now let's see the rule. So our rule states that there exists a friendship between X and Y, two people, X and Y, if, so this symbol is for if, you can see here. There exists a friendship between X and Y, if X likes Y. So what is this symbol for? You can see the symbol is for or. So there exists a friendship if x likes y or y likes x so if either one of these statements is true the friendship will hold right if either one of these statements is true so if i make a query about sally and dan that whether they are friends or not it will be true why because the first statement uh, x is sally and y is dan so the first statement holds true in this case Right? So either if either one of these is true, 
and the answer will be true but let's say i change my rule and let's say i change it to um if, let's say i remove this or from here and i write and instead of or so now i have uh, made a rule that the friendship between x and y will hold if and only if x likes y and y likes s so if both of uh, x and y likes each other then uh, the friendship will hold if i change the rule to this let's see now if i make a query use in, in for this particular rule about sally and dan it will be true why because a fact for both of them exists here so dan likes sally and sally likes dan so the fact uh, both of these statements are true so their friendship will hold but if i do the same thing for josh and Brittany, the answer will not be true right why will it not be true because the uh, statement for josh like sally exists first statement exists but the second one doesn't exist since the second statement does not exist in our knowledge base this means this rule will not hold this particular statement true why because in this particular rule we were using and 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 means both of these statements must be true in order for this friendship to hold right now let's see some examples for queries so this is the same knowledge base and this is our rule and we have made different queries so let's see the okay remember this is or here that means either one of is true this rule will be true so the first query is does dan like sally the answer is true because yes we have a fact for that here the second query is for friendship does uh, do we have a friendship between dan and sally and yes that is true because we have we have the facts here for these two particular um, conditions in the rule and then we have another um, query that is friendship between josh and sally so no we have no fact in our knowledge base that satisfies these two conditions right so the answer is false and do we have a friendship between josh and Brittany? so the answer is true why because um, either one of them is true the answer will be true so for josh and Brittany, we do have this fact here that satisfies the first condition of the uh, of this rule the second condition is not true but since this is an or statement the answer is true this is it for today i hope to see you next time Bye-bye.